Hey, it's done. Today I wanted to address a seller service opportunity here. Now eBay has an open call to fill out one of their surveys for everybody regarding the fall update. Fourth quarter update, fourth quarter update. Now I know over at e-commerce bytes has an article about it. There's a link in there as well. So if you want to read what it is first and get into the details, I would recommend going over there to start with. I also have a link to that down below in the description box, as well as a link to the survey itself. You can find it on several eBay specific message boards, as well as on eBay itself right now. So it is a legitimate true survey. I think it's put out through eBay for business, trying to get some reactions. Now, the first question on the survey is a forced answer. They only want very specific responses. They're not going to allow you to say other or none in there. And if you read what the question is, you'll see why that's important. You have to rate which one of their new changes you like the best. Even if there isn't any of them that it will affect you or anything else like that, you are forced to to put a comment in there specific to one of the ones they want you to. So it's not a true survey. It's a steered, um, guided survey where they're only wanting specific type of responses. Now, the second one gives you an opportunity, though, to say what you don't like about it. Now, for me, and again, this is my opinion. I'm not telling anybody to use my opinion. Use your own thoughts and opinions on anything I state out there. It's your call, what you feel. So if you think it's great, everything they're doing, put that in there. Either way, I would say everybody should go float out. But on my end, the first one is why would you do it in fourth quarter all of the time? It's the only platform, and we've been on them all, that ever does this. I had never even have a glimpse or a blip or anything on any other platform I'm on any time they do a change. eBay, it's constant. Why do it then? Why push it to a time where one of your mistakes, which there are always mistakes and glitches that happen with every update I've ever seen on eBay. And again, this isn't making up or fantasy. This is this is factual. This is based on my true honest experience, as well as thousands of other eBayers who have contacted me over the years of doing this. So I don't take it lightly when I would say something like that. That's, that's pretty much what I have seen in this. There's a new glitch going on right now. I got videos about that too, among other glitches glitches that they haven't fixed. My second problem was why don't you fix the glitches from all the other updates first before you do another one that's going to inevitably cause more issues. So again, every update they've done, there's been some problems. One of them lost everybody's extra photos. So a large chunk of your listings lost all of the extra photos. And if I remember right, I got a video on this, but I want to say it was like 38 million sellers' photos were lost. Not all of them. Uh, they had the first photo. one. I remember this one very specifically because I still have, years from then, still have a few listings up that only have one photo only because of eBay's mix up now they didn't give us much out of that we know stuff didn't happen glitches that happen now i have a glitch every single day of my life on ebay comes up with it's not you it's us constantly i've been getting constant comments about um where you go and type all your information you got your photos uploaded you click list and then it does that exact same error it's not you it's us i have seen that myself it's almost on a daily occurrence if you list a lot as well as I said, the current glitch where you send out an offer to a watcher and it tells them I don't ship to them on every single offer to watcher that I send out. So again, I'm worried that there'll be even yet another glitch. So on top of the glitch after glitch after glitch, they haven't fixed like the media mail can't be shipped in media mail specific categories. That one I reported to an eBay exec myself personally. He responded that was a year plus ago and haven't heard a word and it hasn't been fixed ever since. So again, these issues never get fixed and all they do is keep adding more and wondering why the, the people are going to other sites, why people are going to other selling platforms. Again, because they don't have all these issues, they don't instigate something in fourth quarter. And if they ever did, I've never even noticed it. So, And my third one was addressing their steer towards being Walmart 2.0 with the new CEO and the, the people they're bringing in. Again, others who have worked for Walmart as well. A lot of the changes I see going on are going to drastically hurt the platform. My only goal is for the platform to be a good, viable platform where they're not running away all the good sellers and bringing in a bunch of imported goods that are of low quality, which seems to be what a lot of these new things are steered towards. Just like the pay-per-click on the promoted listings that's advertised in the fall update. 
The only thing I see that being used for is for big businesses and big corporations who have new NOS stock like that, that have quantity that can drum up and afford to do that. It's not going to be for the average seller. I personally have used that form of promotions on other platforms, never on eBay. But uh, they can be useful if it's new items, say on Amazon or something else like that. But it doesn't do anything for those of us selling used and secondhand goods. It's just not a practical means of advertising for anything in vintage or collectibles or used in my book to pay somebody just to show your items. So all it is is a pay per click where you got to give money just to be seen more, which again, I refuse to do. I don't do promoted listings, haven't done them in well over a year. They've never addressed the issues that were brought up from way back then. Those are my concerns I addressed in the feedback section. Question number two on their survey. So again, please take the survey. Whether it's good towards eBay, bad towards eBay, or neutral, fill it out. Let's see where everybody stands on this. And if there's more complaints than there are people that love what's going on. Maybe if that was the case, eBay would actually fix and stop doing some of these idiotic changes, steering eBay in a direction that's probably not going to help most everybody who resells secondhand goods. And the vast majority of these updates is not going to help the majority of us out there either financially or any other ways it's only going to benefit big company corporations and things like that from all i personally see with this so let them know what you think about it this is your chance to speak up if there's enough of us speaking up and saying how we truly feel and what the issues are maybe at some point they're going to have to listen to it because it's never going to go away or get better if they don't but anyway that's what i have for you today hopefully that gave you some ideas Ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. sugarless gum here tried it here both cost the same yet carefree gives you 32 percent more gum by weight than tried it and carefree's taste electrifying then the electricity i'll think about it in washington ac that's washington dc get more gum with carefree now in bubble gum too more gum carefree sugarless gum